What is up guys? Again, thank you so much for stopping by at the channel. We're going to talk about every single generation as far as from the O1s till present. Your LB7s, your LOIs, your LBZs, your LMMs, your LMLs, and your L5Ps. So we're going to talk about every single series of generation of turbo, the differences in between sizes of turbo wheels, um, certain styles. I mean, it's going to get crazy. We have Eric here, which is actually one of the turbo builders at Ryan's Diesel Service that does this day in and day out CNC machines these turbos, hones them. I mean, he just does it all, guys. So all day long, he works with Duramax turbos. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to get him on the channel. So this is going to be very informative. Sit back and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Eric at Ryan's Diesel Service. I'm a machinist and turbo remanufacturer. Guys, so as you can see, I have every single generation turbo that is in every single generation Duramax. LB7, so your 01 to 04 application is what that would go to. So, you, of course, you see a wastegate there. Um, then LOI, 04.5 to 05. And then you have your LBZ and LMM, 06 to 2010. Your LML, 2011 to 16. And then, of course, your current um, big bad boy L5P17 to 19. Eric, so what do we see here? All right, this is our turbo that came on the LB7 Duramax from 01 to 04. Originally produced by IHI. Easiest way to tell this turbo right away if it's off the truck, this is the only generation that had a wastegate on it, opposed to being a variable vane turbo. You flip over on the back side too, you'll see it has a very distinctive downpipe pattern. Only one that's bolted on instead of V-band, but you can see our wastegate here, our actuator up front, and there's no electronics that go on this turbo. This is our LOI turbo. This is when Duramax moved over to a Garrett turbo. It's a variable vane design they used all the way up through the LMLs. Makes the LOI special is this is the biggest turbo that they ever put on a Duramax. It's got a 63 and a half compressor wheel with a 66 and a half turbine on it from the factory. You'll notice on any of these turbos, even though they look the same for a couple years, they'll have an M3 casting number on them if they're for an LOI. That's very interesting. I did not know that. Obviously also with the bigger wheel and the bigger turbine too, but a real quick way to identify it. Okay. Then you come over to our LBZ and our LMM. Now these are both going to have the same size turbine, a 60, or same size compressor wheel, 60 and a half with a 64 turbine, and they're also going to both be marked with. Oh, that's hard to tell with the paint with an M48 right on the exhaust housing, as opposed to the M3. Now the ways to tell the LBZ from the LMM. This is a remand LBZ I just did. You'll see the shaft sticking all the way through the compressor wheel. If it's an LMM. It's going to have just a flat nose on it and you won't see the shaft. This on the L LBZ is a long shaft where you see it sticking through the compressor wheel. If it's an LMM, it's going to have what's called a short shaft where you, you won't see the shaft sticking through. There'll be a solid nut on the top of the compressor wheel. Other thing that we're going to be able to tell our 04.5 all the way through our 10s, which are all going to be, even though they have the different number, they're essentially the same housing, is the downpipe is flat on the back. When we come to the next generation of them, our LMLs, angled. There's a few other little differences, but that's the easiest way to tell an LML from anything earlier at one quick glance. Other thing you'll notice is I was talking about how the LMM would have a short shaft. LML's the same way. They all came this way. That's going to be a 60 and a half compressor just like the LBZ and LMM, but with a 62.7 turbine on it. Other difference you'll see too, there's sensor port on the compressor cover. This is the only year to do that. And it's a little hard to tell, but our coolant's a little our coolant out, outlet is a little bit farther in. Then the newest generation. This one's made by Borg Warner for our L5P. This is gonna look a lot like the S300 or S400s, but this is a variable vane design, just like all the Garrett's were. Got our big control box on the top. In the back. Our downpipe's going to mount on a pedestal, or our whole turbo is going to mount on the pedestal where the uppipes are going to come from. And we just like an S300. So these have from the factory a 62 compressor wheel and a 64 millimeter turbine. Eric, when you're obviously working with these turbos day in and day out, do you have a favorite turbo by chance? I, I mean, for stock, for the stock for stock, I guess. Well, what's cool about the 0410, basically, or the 04 and a half to five. LOIs is it's the biggest turbo they ever put on from the factory. So if you want to take and make a 64 millimeter turbo out of it, you've already got your 66 turbine in the back. Good point actually, yeah. 
Yeah, you would. It'd be less modifications. You could just take an L L O I turbo. Yep. You do still have to modify a few things, but keeps it nice and simple. All the units though, from 04 to 10, I see a lot of them. It's probably the most common turbo I'm remanning. They're all pretty solid. There's not much that goes wrong with them unless something has happened catastrophically to them. They're pretty stout units. Now it's funny that you mentioned the 04 to 2010 application. So really just looking at, I guess, the every single turbo, and I would just say from your LOI to your LML, so your uh, 04 to 2016, they all look almost identical. They are, except for the differences we pointed out with the LML. But the, any, yeah. The any, exhaust, the exhaust, yeah. Yep. You won't be able to make this work in an earlier truck. Any year LOI, LBZ, or LMM is interchangeable once you have modified them. They all bolt up, they all run the same, they all have the same actuator on them for the vanes, they all use the same sensor. It's all just what's inside them. So once you already have them punched out for a bigger size turbine and compressor, you can use any year interchangeably. So what you're saying is, is that I could take a, say for example, an LOI turbo and put it in my LBZ or my LMM. Yes, you could run that and now you'd have a bigger turbo than what you had from the factory without anything being modified. All right, so here we have a Garrett for an 03 power stroke for the six liter. Essentially the same turbo as what's going on here, just a different shape. The other difference is the center sections on the Fords were not water cooled like the Duramax was, which makes them a little less long lasting. But the cool thing with these, everybody notes the 6.0 for its very strong exhaust whistle. These have the same size turbine from the factory. The difference is this has a 10 blade from the factory while this has a 13 blade. That's what gives you the whistle. It'll give you that distinct whistle everybody goes for. That's why everybody that builds these, when you go to put a different turbine in an LOI, you put the 10 blade in and it'll sound very similar to how the power stroke whistle is. This is a whole set center section for a 6.7 Cummins turbo. The interesting thing on these is all the vanes are connected with one piece instead of being individual. And the way it actuates is sliding in and out instead of all the vanes rotating. Eric, you're the man. I can't stress it enough. Thank you so much for explaining to me and us, I guess, you know, all, all this information about all these Duramax turbos. That's very insightful, so that's pretty cool. So thanks, man. Hey, not a problem. Love passing on knowledge. Definitely, yeah. You've been doing this for a long time, and uh, it seems like you really enjoy what you do. Absolutely. I get so, to play with turbos all day. Yeah, you hear what he said? He gets to play with turbos all day. I mean, come on, man. And he gets paid to do it. As a matter of fact, he's off the clock right now. Oh, yeah. That's I... how much I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, other than that, I do appreciate your time. I would say that they are probably one of the best manufacturers in the nation when it comes to uh, remanufacturing these Duramax turbos. So reach out to them, ryansdieselservice.com. Also use my coupon code. It's actually Truckmaster. I say it all the time, but it's definitely going to save you guys some money if you guys want to buy one of these awesome turbos. But not only do they just remanufacture turbos, but they also do performance application turbos as well. Um, for example, the one that I have in my truck, which is a 68 millimeter um, with a polished compressor housing, which looks absolutely beautiful. And then as you guys saw earlier in the video, you guys also have that opportunity to do a powder coating option as well. Correct. So that was pretty cool. All right, Eric. Well, hopefully I can get you back on the channel sometime, man. And uh, thanks again. Absolutely. All right. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.